What's good? You know who it is. It's the JDC. I drink whiskey and it's back to the bourbon for little old me as I wrap my laughing gear around the maker's mark coming back at you in just a few Kentucky straight moments. That is right. I am sampling and reviewing tonight the maker's mark. The Maker's Mark is owned by the Beam Suntory Group, and the Maker's Mark Distillery is located in Loretto, Kentucky. So we are dealing here with a Kentucky straight bourbon. A few interesting little tidbits about the Maker's Mark before I dive into the whiskey. Oh, I wish I could dive into some whiskey right now. I've had the worst day. One is that unlike many other bourbons on the market, the Maker's Mark has no rye in the mash bill. Rather, instead of rye, they use the red winter wheat. Oh, <laughs> that's wordy. The red winter wheat. And I think that gives the whiskey a slightly smoother character. Also, I'm told by people with more whiskey nows than myself. So, uh, Baker's Mark caused a bit of a stir in 2013 um, when they announced they were going to bring down the ABV of their product. They had, pre they had been selling it at 45% uh, ABV and they announced they were going to reduce that down to 42%. Sort of way to pinch the pennies and make their product last a bit longer. This was met with an outcry of uh, incandescent rage and they nixed that idea. Unfortunately, they did not nix that idea here in Australia, where they have reduced the ABV all the way down to 40%. And may I just say that I'm extremely happy about that. And just as an extra bit of trivia, you probably recognize the bottle, that red stuff on the top, very iconic. Here is an image of the workers at the distillery dipping those bottles into a, a pot filled with the blood of their enemies. Uh, in accordance with rituals dating back to the 1700s. Okay, okay, they're just dipping it in wax. They, it's just wax, it's just wax. There is no dark rituals at Maker's Mark, as far as I'm aware. Each bottle is, is hand sealed in wax, just like the olden days. Anyway, that's enough of my buffooning around the whiskey world. Let's turn around, have a look at the bottle and see what we are dealing with. Anytime you're in the neighborhood, Stop by and visit us at our distillery near Loretto, Kentucky. I live in Brisbane, Queensland, so I'm not going to be in the neighborhood all that often, but thank you for the offer. This beautifully restored home of Maker's Mark is a designated Kentucky and National Historic Landmark. As well it should be. So, the whiskey details. We are dealing with a Kentucky straight bourbon in Australia. We have to uh, drink it at 40% ABV. It is matured in virgin oak casks, pretty standard for bourbons. Uh, it has been chill filtered, but it has not been artificially colored. Let's give it a right royal schnozzing. So very, very strong vanilla -y notes, some general sweetness. Oh, a wonderful intermixing of honey and caramel. And that itself is buttressed with uh, a general sense of spices and some oakiness in the background. Mm, very pleasant, very pleasant nose. Very nice balance between the nose and the palate. It has that vanilla-y taste with some general sweetness underneath. On a second tasting, I'm getting some, some nuttiness, some stronger spices coming in. Hmm, very good. With some caramel and a bit of oakiness coming at the end. Oh, very sippable. Yeah, I would say it's a medium finish. And it has the oakiness and the sweetness is kind of coming back into the foreground. It had kind of died off a bit when the nuttiness came in, but now the sweetness is back for the finish. Very nice. Well, that was the Maker's Mark. Um, it's quite inoffensive. It's quite sippable. Uh, a very nice, easy drinking dram. Nothing too amazing, but uh, very good. Very good quality. Definitely consider, if you're curious about it, I, I would say go and get a bottle. They're quite affordable, uh, particularly here in Australia. I do know there is the Maker's Mark 46, and I really enjoyed it when I had it, uh, partially because I was having a good time. I was at a friend's um, album launch. Uh, the girl behind the bar serving them was very tasty, as tasty as the Maker's Mark 46, and I really, really enjoyed 
uh, that. Uh, so I'm looking forward to sampling some on the channel in the future. Well, if you have enjoyed this review, please do give us a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more reviews, please subscribe to the channel. And I look forward to tasting another whiskey for all you Kentucky salty dogs very, very soon.